Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 56735 Class Alpha. State Arkansas. Location details Batesville Pike begins just past the North Little Rock Airport, Remount Road. The sighting occurred just before the first major curve if you are traveling south on Batesville Pike. I saw the creature on the Camp Robinson side of the road. This area is strictly off limits and signs are clearly posted. Nearest town, North Little Rock. Nearest road, Batesville Pike Road. Observed. I was driving south on Batesville Pike Road on my way to work. There are woods on both sides of this road with a tall chain link fence surrounding the woods on both sides. The right hand side of the road is part of Camp Robinson. Just past the fence there is a fire break before the tree line begins. I had just driven around a sharp curve and due to the curve I was driving pretty slow. There are lots of deer in this area and I am typically looking to see if they are any close by. There's a small creek bed in the curve with a large culvert running under the road connecting both sides of the street in that area. Just past the curve I saw a tall upright black figure. It was about 10 yards past the beginning of the tree line. This creature was walking at an angle through the woods towards the creek. I saw his right profile and the back of him. It appeared to have arms which were hanging at his side. There are lots of trees in this area so parts of his profile were blocked at times. All of the leaves are off the trees at this time of the year so I had a pretty clear view. He appeared to be six to seven feet tall with black hair. I'm not exactly sure what I saw but I know that it wasn't a deer. This road has a pretty high amount of traffic in the morning and is highly guarded by Camp Robinson. Also noticed, we have had drastic weather changes throughout the week. There was a severe thunderstorm with hail and heavy rains just a couple of days before the siding. The day after the storm, we had a high temperature of around 80 degrees, very unusual for this time of winter. The following day, the temperature dropped drastically with wind chills in the 20s and 30s. Other witnesses. There were no other witnesses at the time I was alone in my vehicle. Other stories. Prior to this incident, I have not personally heard of any other sightings in this area. My husband suggested that I report my sighting on this website. I discovered it after viewing this website that there have been other sightings in this area. Time and conditions. I saw this creature at 7.40 a.m. It was a bright, clear morning. The sun had been up for about 40 minutes. The temperature was in the early to mid 40s. Environment. This area is heavily wooded. However, all the leaves were off the trees. There is a small creek close to the location of the siding. There is a fire break between the fence and the tree line. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Tal H. Branco. The investigator met with the witness and her husband at the siding location about noon on February 18, 2017. At the time of her sighting, she was driving south on Batesville Pike. On the western edge of the highway's right-of-way, there is a security fence built and maintained by the Camp Robinson Military Training Base. Just inside the fence, there is a clear firebreak patrol road that is approximately 20 feet wide. The area beyond the cleared area is thickly forested. At the time of the sighting, the leaves were gone from the trees, and in the particular location of the sighting, there is thin, understory vegetation. The witness described the animal as a tall, stoutly built, bigfoot-like biped walking briskly northwest towards Spring Creek. She specifically stated it was walking erect with its arms hanging loosely by its sides. 
She said that it was covered from head to foot in black hair. It never turned to look toward the road, so her view of it was its right side. Spring Creek flows underneath the road through large diameter culverts within a few yards of her view of the creature. Heavy rain shortly after the witness's sighting would have erased any track evidence of the creature's passage through the area. It was also noted that the security fence had been knocked down by out-of-control vehicles at both the Spring Creek culverts and the Miles Creek Bridge, which is located about one-half mile further north of the siding location. There is nothing to prevent large animals of any kind from leaving the security fenced area of that military base to more base property on the east side of the road, which is not fenced and is heavily forested as well. The writer has personally received and investigated several reports of sightings of Bigfoot-like creatures from and around the perimeter of Camp Joseph T. Robinson. Some of the base property is open to hunters with the required paid permits. Most of the encounter reports were from hunters. After hearing the witness's very detailed and sincere account of the incident, I concluded that she is a credible observer. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.